All right, how you doing everyone? It's me, Green Zero, your Command & Conquer 3 Canes Wrath Senior Commentator. Uh, this is my 100th video for Canes Wrath. That's right, number 100. Never thought I'd get this far, obviously. Thank you to the community. Obviously, without the community, there'd be no one to watch my videos, and I would have never have kept making them. And of course, we have a lot of other good commentators out there, and the community is still going strong, so uh, keep playing games. You get some media coverage, and hopefully the community will be together for a long time in the future. Uh, anyway, we do have a feature game here for you today. We'll get straight into that in just a moment. I bet you cannot wait. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the highlights from the start of this video. It took a while to put that together. There's footage from about oh, 60 to 70 VODs, so yeah, hope you all enjoyed that. Anyway, stay tuned. We've got a game coming up for you, and it's going to be really, really awesome. Here we are in game now. This is my 100th Kane's Wrath video for GameReplays.org, and this is the feature match. Let's just go straight back through those players. We have Daggy Man and Hydraulic, both playing as random here. It says Black Hand for Hydraulic, but that's because he has he uploaded the replay, so it's going to tell us his faction. So it's Blue versus Purple, Daggy Man and Hydraulic. Uh, well done for these guys for featuring in the 100th video. Uh, obviously, it was completely picked at random. Uh, just like I, I love doing, it's on the members tab, and here we go, we're just about to click close, and bam, we're starting, here we go, Hydraulic, obviously in the right hand side, we're on Tournament Rift, probably the best 1v1 map out there, everyone's probably like, oh no, no, it's probably Decision, but, but really, I mean, this map's been in it since Tiberium Wars, and it's always been really fair, it doesn't matter what factions you play, it's just a really good solid map. And uh, don't forget, these guys, obviously because it's random v random, they don't know what faction uh, the other has selected, so they're going to be a little bit wary on the spikes. Obviously, one engineer from Hydraulic there, and we're going to see the Daggy Man. He's uh, he's GDI Vanilla, and he has just drafted one. There we go, one engineer. He's sending three squads down the center here. Uh, he obviously thinks that his opponent perhaps is going for spikes. Uh, I mean, in random versus random, you can't really predict that too much. I mean, he, he obviously wants to win whatever's going down, and he's going to be disappointed to find out that he's going to be up against a Cabal squad. And that's going to be very difficult. That Cabal squad could probably just about take out all these Rifleman squads. And since he's splitting them up now as well, he really thinks that Hydraulic's going for the bottom spikes, especially since he doesn't know that he's Blackhand. I mean, Blackhand can easily take uh, all the spikes in this map. Unleashed has shown us that they can do that, especially with the Flame upgrade. They can take the Garrisons and completely deny the other player. But again, he doesn't know what faction Daggerman is. He's probably scouted out some Rifleman by now. He's going for bikes. So he's probably seen he's up against GDI. He's like, all right, let's build some bikes. They're really good against GDI. This is a really big map that's really going to work for me. And he's getting his scouts in. He's going to see those harvesters with the chain guns on them. So he's, he's definitely going to know it's vanilla GDI now. And he's probably not, not too happy with that. He probably wanted to see Zocom harvesters or even Steel Talon harvesters. But he's probably got the most difficult GDI faction to play against here. I mean, uh, Steel Talons is actually really, really good against Black Hand. Um, I'm not sure why. It's got something to do with their Wolverines. Uh, they're just so powerful against the anti infantry there. But on this map here, I think a lot of bikes, a lot of fast attacking units from the Black Hand is going to be uh, on the table. And it looks like a garrison taken here by Daggy Man. He's going to just attack that spike, put some uh, pressure on. I mean, eventually he's going to have to do something about that. He's going to probably order both those guys to attack it so they can destroy it within due time. Uh, just trickling its health away, hardly even moving, really. And uh, MCV move, MCV move. Where are those bikes gone? They're already in the base and they get a harvester. Oh, I almost missed that. I was not paying attention. Too busy on spikes and there's bikes moving around. Oh no, is he gonna lose another harvester? One bike goes down, he needs to micro that with hit builders. He, he's gonna lose that. He's gone on the war factory now. Oh man, Hydraulic could really push here. I reckon he could have gone back and finished that harvester off. Daggy man, not completely on the ball. I mean, he was maneuvering around, but uh, that was really well done by Hydraulic there. Hydraulic even, he, like I said before, he's moving his conyard over here and he's got an expansion up. He's probably going for a refinery. He's building harvesters now, so the bike rush completely worked. One of those harvesters had to sit around and get some repairs. Actually, no, he did not get too much repairs on that at all. You really need your harvesters at full health, especially against Black Hand when they're, they're moving around like this with lots of bikes. Looks like that spike there taking, still taking damage. The Cabal squad in this uh, garrison attacking that spike. Daggy Man has scouts down here. He's got them in the close, but you think he'd move over to this building here so he could secure those two spikes at a later stage in the game. What's happening over here? Pitbull fending off some bikes. Yep. 
Nice work there, Dowdy Man's obviously not going to let that happen again. That harvester takes some damage, but the good thing is when you put your war factory this close to the refinery, your harvesters get repairs every time they go back to the, the dock, so it just saves time. Instead of pulling your harvesters off the line, they just get repairs whenever they dock. It's nice work. Two rifleman squads in there, and a third one trying to get in, obviously not going to fit. Only two garrisons go in there. Now, these buildings, I mean, they can be kind of important. Uh, in Rift, generally in the, the only the early game, you really see these, these buildings make, having an effect with the spike harassment. A few more pipples out here now, and Harvest is still taking some damage there. What's going on? Those bikes have been coming backwards and forwards. He really should pull them back and get some more, some more bikes. He's not probably, he's probably not going to achieve too much with just two bikes now. He's moving them around. He's obviously getting his refineries up over here. We can see that he has been working hard. He's got a second structure queued, and it's another refinery. Far out. He's really got some serious, uh, some uh, serious economy going down here. He needs to move another harvester. He's only got one. Two, he's only got four in his main, so he could have one more in his main. He definitely needs. A few, or at least one more for now on his expansion, but uh, it looks like some scorpion tanks going through the middle. They have some funky little decals on them, they're like Tiberium War style. And he's gonna push, he's gonna find only pit bulls, which probably isn't the best for Daggy Man here. He needs some predator tanks. There's five scorpion tanks coming in, and there's a few, uh, a few bikes up there. The pit bulls are obviously gonna go attack the bikes, and oh, that harvester that's the one that didn't get repairs. And look at it, it's just about dead. He almost paid for it. These pit bulls now are being forced to commit against these uh, these uh, scorpion tanks and they probably don't want that at all. That harvest is still microing around, getting some repairs now. These bikes coming in, the black hand player being really, really aggressive here, that's nice. But these scorpion tanks are attacking harvesters up there. He's really pushing in for harvesters, but he just isn't getting them. He's heavily damaging quite a few. Daddy Man really needs to get some repairs on those. And those scorpion tanks will get away without too many loss. I mean, Daddy Man could snipe that other one. There's something going down here. Daddy Man has expanded to the blue. When did he do that? Fire out. I completely missed it. And these bikes moving through, they could have totally taken out that harvester. And there's just watchtowers. They're not going to be able to defend off bikes like for very long at all. And there's a bike squadron down here. What's happening over here? That spike tilt still taking damage. Looks like dual war factory and tier two for hydraulic now. And he's moving around. He's pushing these bikes up. Daggy Man's forces are all split apart, and they're oh, they're just coming in one by one. This probably isn't very good for him at all. His harvesters are going to be under attack here now. His units are out of position. He needs a predator tank or something to come out of that war factory, and it does now. Oh, there's no power for those watchtowers, and he's being forced to sell them straight off again. Watchtowers aren't really going to be able to defend against bikes. I mean, they can destroy them if they sit there for a while, but they have no AP ammo. These pit bulls are going to have to do the job. They're coming in. These bikes are really trading their numbers, though. I mean, a good amount of pit bulls have been dying as well as bikes. What's happening down here? Those scorpion tanks are moving down to this field here, and that harvester is bringing in blue tip, and there's a flame tank coming. Oh, no. That scorpion tank needs to get out of the way. It's actually blocking the flame tank. Oh, this is big. That was big there. He needs to destroy this war factory right now, and he can probably even destroy that refinery, and this is going to be really bad for Daggy Man. His harvester is under attack. There's a lot of units coming in. He's got reinforcements. He does not quite finish off the war factory. Oh, what are you doing, Hydraulic? Finish off the war factory, buddy. He's coming back now, but those Predator tanks, oh, this is going to be amazing if he keeps that. Oh, he did not destroy the war factory. That is major. That is a major blunder from Hydraulic there. That could have been uh, crippling, and look how much health it's escaped with. And now Daggy Man, with all that blue Tiberium, has just been cranking out a ton of units, and he's even brought more harvesters from his main field. He needs to sell off all these watchtowers. They're probably not going to do much now. There is no imp from Hydraulic now. He really had a chance there to absolutely cripple Daggy Man. I'm a little bit disappointed in that. He's got a tech center, but he is black hand. I'm not sure what he's going to do with that. He's actually got his conyard out here, and it looks like obelisk drop. Is the, has he got two? He's got two conyards. He's going to have dual obelisk. Dual obelisk, and he's going into dual... Oh, fanatic spam. Oh, look at that. Fanatics are excellent units, but the barracks obviously don't have enough health, and an engineer comes out in preparation to actually heal up the conyard, but uh, he's just been killed straight away. He can't get in because there's a fence, and it's not even damaged at all, and here come... The fanatics again, oh look at them, they murder, absolutely murder those tanks, man. Every time they come out, they just splash damage a big area. And that's that's better use of the obelisk, putting them behind units there. And bam, more predator tanks going down. He's got to do something about these <laughs> these foxholes, man. They're absolutely murdering those uh, fanatics there. But he destroyed a lot of tanks there. That was a really good hold off. And he's got dual barracks. He needs to get some black hand out. I think some black hand would really help him. Just two squads. He's still going fanatics. And those riflemen are ranking up. He's probably not going to be enjoying that at all. And oh, the obelisk drop. He really got a question where he's putting those. They're not behind any uh, buildings or anything. He needs to put some silos or something or, or power plants in front of them. And there's heroic, heroic riflemen squads inside that foxhole. They need to bust that wide open right now. And I think, yeah, they're going to do it now, obviously. There's uh, two obelisks there, but that is held back down, man. So hydraulic almost paid 
almost paid for that massive blunder in the middle with the, with the, the loss, but it looks like there's another one out here. Is that, is that triple Conyard or is that, no, he's got triple MCV. What's going on here? He's trying to do an eclipse. I'm not sure how well that's gonna work. There are a lot of units by Daggy Man out here. Um, I'm not sure if he has enough Tiberium. He obviously has a, he has quite a lot over here. He needs to get some more harvesters down there or another refinery and he's absolutely blowing these tanks to pieces. He's losing Obelisk though. He's probably got a few more queued up. He can't really afford to lose. If he loses one of his MCVs, it probably won't be that big a deal, but he really shouldn't. He puts a laser field on that one. That's gonna give it a nice boost to health there. And look at that day, man. He's even expanded to the center, center field when he's still got this full patch down here that he's actually leeching off of. And look at that, look at all those obelisks coming up. And oh, two fox holes in the middle of nowhere. Looks like Danny Man tried to de-garrison and a more heroic, heroic rifleman squad. That's amazing. Obviously against Black Hand, they can rank up really easily. And he's got supercharged particle beam, or just regular charged particle beam, because he's not mock, he is Black Hand. And that's gonna make his shredder turret super powerful as well. And the MCV is right on the move again. He's probably gonna have another two queued up. This one's moving to the center, but there's no blue Tiberium. There's nothing there. He's gonna to have to move all the way across the map if he wants some uh, some juice. One more MCV is left to, to build. And look at that laser fencing again. I think Daddy Man's gonna have a tough time. He needs some more heavier units, doesn't he? He could uh, really use his tech or maybe even some air. He needs something. I mean, obviously the, the, the base defense uh, spam would probably be best countered by, I say, Juggernauts. Again, Daddy Man does not appear to have his tech center. He doesn't have uh, that much, actually. He really needs to defend this middle field. Um, he's going to be in really tr really big trouble if those obelisks get in. And it looks like it looks like Hydraulic actually set up at the blue field. There's only a tiny little bit of a crystal there. He could be attacking that refinery and knock out the build radius. Has not done that yet. But what's happening now, is there a big sell-off? I think there was a big sell-off of base defenses by Hydraulic there because he, he has no more obelisks. One more popping up. He needs a few more to pop up. And the Engineer comes out way too ahead of time. I mean, <laughs> seriously, that's going to take quite a while for that Conyard to go down. And look at all the obelisks coming up now. Oh, that's going to be big trouble. And these Cabal squads, there's actually a couple there and they're just going to cause problems, really. They're just going to uh, become targets and uh, lure the APCs away from what they really need to do. He could, uh, uh, Daddy Man really needs AP ammo as well. Uh, he could be really benefiting because he's got a lot of uh, APCs now. He really should be tr trading those for Predator tanks because he's not up a lot, up against a lot of infantry. And there's the building block. That's nice work. If he had some engineers now, he could have repaired his obelisks. And here come the charged particle beams. And he's got AP ammo. It looks like Daddy Man has got AP ammo. I'm not sure if he's going for his tech. He has gone for air, so he's really putting up a big fight here, man. This is pretty intense. He really can't afford more obelisks to go up right now because he's running low on units. And there goes another one. And they got the shredder turrets. So I think he's going to take this middle field. I think Daggy Man needs to pack up and leave because he doesn't have his tech and he's not going to be able to fight this. He's against triple Conyard, a base push, which is really unusual considering how the black hand player started. And look at that, the orc is being forced to attack obelisks. Again, Daggy Man should just get out of there. I think he should just he should just say, "All right, he's actually going triple airfield." I'm not sure what he's going to achieve with that because once uh, once hydraulic starts going into sand turrets, that's going to completely deny him there. And look at that, he's just pu pushing forward ever so slowly. And this greenfield here, uh, Daggy Man has zero harvesters on this greenfield. There's no harvesting going on there. What's happening down here? There's still a conyard. It's only building. Uh, Daggy Man could get some harvesters to to clean up that blue tip just for a boost. And now he's leaving. He's leaving. This is good. This is what I was talking about. He should have left a little bit earlier, but th this is still all right. He's fighting, he's keeping Hydraulic preoccupied. He could even destroy the enemy harvesters as they come out and just delay him even more. As long as he doesn't lose too much here, we bring out the health bars. Those APCs probably should get out of there. They're not gonna achieve too much more, I don't think. Yeah, they're just gonna get killed, especially since those strata types can shoot through that building there. And there goes an Orca Strike. Probably should just sell off without refinery, although he's not gonna get much money for it now. It's too badly damaged. Those APCs are coming back for more. He's got two airfields full of Orcas, so he's got some striking power here. But that's what I was talking about. The SAM turrets are up, and he's gonna be able to knock that one down. But how long before another one comes up, he actually takes out that harvester. That's a good idea. He's, he's choosing his targets wisely now. And he's, oh no. Hydraulic is moving. He's got a mass move to the center, but Daggy Man misses it. No, he does not. He does not. He's coming back, and oh, that's going to be devastating. Look at the harvesters go down there. Two more harvesters. Oh, man, those orcas just absolutely annihilated. And there's even a... Does, do they have enough ammo? No. They actually use their scan. What are you doing, uh, Daggy Man? They're not stealth harvesters. You're against Black Hand, buddy. And that harvester coming in, it's got a full load. Yes, it needs to get out of there because he really does need that full load. He's going to lose his comm center. He's going to lose his buildings here. 
What's going on over there? A few units blowing up. I didn't actually see what that was. He's going to have to sell these units here. And that harvester is actually going to go in and run those guys down. Yes, nice work. It's machine gun is firing, but it's not very powerful against black hand. Black hand infantry can just resist so, so well. And what's coming down there? Is that a hammerhead? He's got dual hammerheads coming out. Look at that. And that's going to clean up the infantry. And he manages to save the base. That's amazing. Looks like Hydraulic is just down to one more harvest. So what's he been doing? He's moving across here. He needs to get this blue Tiberium. If he gets this blue Tiberium, He's uh he's set, he's looking he's looking pretty good because look at this dagger man, he went for airfields, obviously he wanted to save his orcas and that's a good idea, but now he really does need to get a refinery up there. Or two refineries, he's still building air units. I think he should just cool on the air units because there's gonna be a ton of sand turrets coming out by hydraulic. He still has triple war factory there. We can see he's stalled for cash. He really needs uh, this blue Tiberium and he's gotta watch out, look at all these orcas coming in. Oh, do they have hard points? They don't have hard points, they're probably not gonna be able to take out that conyard. They're going to get pretty close though. He should stop repairing that and just use an engineer. And it's going to be a it's going to be a real pain for hydraulic now because he does not have stealth harvesters. He's only got two harvesters on this middle field here, and he's building from three MCVs. That's never going to work. He should sell off a lot of his structures. He could even sell off. He could afford to easily sell off one of his uh one of his MCVs. And there we go. That's what I was talking about. He's got that up because one load of blue Tiberium, and bam, he is right back in there. But here come the orcas, and they're going to totally deny that he needs a Sam Tara and he needs it now. Uh, they're actually going for the conyard. Oh, that's interesting by Dagon. If he gets that conyard, he's going to absolutely... Uh, no, he's changing targets. He needs to really focus. He's not going to have enough ammo for both if he changes his mind. But I think he's going to be all right. Here come the hammerheads. There's no sand turrets. That was big for hydraulic there. He, he just got that down and he had no defenses for it. I'm not sure what he's been building. He's got uh, another harvester up there. So he could probably finish off this base here. But yeah, he's in big trouble. There's the sand turret. But they're getting attacked by so many hammerheads, it's actually going down. They get one hammerhead, he needs uh, a dual drop. There's another one going down now, but look how quickly they can destroy the single turrets. Those are hammerheads there. He's got a barracks, I'm not sure what he's going to do with that because those hammerheads will just uh, eat anything that comes out of Another sand turret coming up now, and that's just going to cause problems. Going to cause problems for Dagi, man. He's going to have to avoid those. Another hammerhead probably about to go down. Yes, he has not quite moved out of range. So paid for that. He could easily take the text in it, uh, although he'd probably have to be wary about more drops. Where'd they go? There they go. <laughs> they totally scooted out in the opposite direction. I thought they would. Daggy Man does have both these spikes, though, and he's had those for a while. I'm not sure how long he's had them for, but uh, he does have both of them, and that's going to be pulling in a ton of cash for him in the long run. And engineers coming out with his hammerheads. Oh man, you really got to question this. He obviously doesn't know that they're still there. They're probably just going to pick off those engineers at some time. And Orc is running in and killing. Look at all the harvesters go down. Oh, Hydraulic, you are losing this game through these Orcas. It's a massive, it's a wicked move by Daggy Man, to be honest because he did it without his tech and he went mass orcas and uh, yeah hydraulic just has not put up enough air defenses and he's got no harvesters left he's got no he's repairing that why you're repairing that ref it's just costing you money yes that's right has he captured any of these spikes no those hammerheads obviously cleaning up those engineers has he got any harvesters left at all he has zero harvesters what is hydraulic doing he's got a war factory he's got no money he needs to sell off for starters sell off this mcv sell off your tech center do you really need that anymore Sell off some power plants, yeah, sell off the refs. You need to get that, that harvester out right now because you have no spikes and no economy and you need to get back in this game because Daggy Man, he's got, he's got dual ref down here and there's five harvesters on this field. Oh, that's going to be big. And here come the Orca Cloud and they have hard points and this is just going to be problems, massive problem. They could probably just take, tank that double A defense and they're going to, I think. Yeah, there we go. And one ref is going to go. He's got so many orcas, he's just popping these buildings. What are you doing? You need to finish off one building before you start on the other. And look at that. That all goes down there. Oh, Hydraulic, what are you doing? Oh, man. This is, this is actually a really good play by Daggy Man. I think Hydraulic, he had his opportunity and he just couldn't uh, get around Daggy Man's persistence. Daggy Man, he was kind of all over the place and all over the field fighting every inch. And he did a really good job of it. And he just wore down Hydraulic, especially since he was 3 MCV base crawling. Uh, looks like he has one harvester down here, and there's a black hand as well. Where did this black hand come from? I'm not sure, but if he gets this blue Tiberium, he needs to be careful with that harvester. That harvester's going to get sniped. He needs some more double A defense right now. And you can see he's actually pulling back before he even fills his harvester up because he knows. He knows he needs money. If he puts down a couple air defenses, he might be all right. There are some units coming down here. They are shatterer tanks, but they're not going to do a lot against the, the black hand units. They can kill the infantry pretty well, but the black hand units will tank so much damage from them and probably flame them and probably destroy them. So powering down, what's going on? Look at all the orcas. Oh man, he's got like three airfields. One, two, three. No, he's got more than that. He's got at least four airfields. I can't see how many are there. There's a lot. And look at the ranking. 
there's at least three or four in there that are veteran and they're just destroying these structures yeah hydraulic really needs to sell those he's really caving i think he's, he's trying to keep fighting because he has blue tiberium and look at that that mcv that would have been a lot of money if he just sold that but instead he's lost it and those orcas are going to go back to base with a lot of kills Oh no, watch out, they're flying over this area here. He needs to avoid that. He just changes their trajectory just a little bit and there's some APCs and Shadows coming in. Oh, a few of them still getting hit by those sand turrets. And here come the Shadows here. This is all I was talking about. The Shadows can cut through the infantry, but the Black Hand themselves will tank that damage. And the Black Hand aren't too bad against uh, this amount of tanks anyway, as long as there isn't too many. And he can probably hold this attack. There we go, there's only one Shadow left. So that's what I was talking about. The Black Hand units, they're tanking a lot of the damage and he's going to be able to destroy that last Shadow. These rockets really need to help out. He's losing a little bit too much. There he goes. Goes down. What's he got? Look at all the hammerheads. Oh, I think that's going to be it. I don't think Hydraulic has any more MCVs left. And oh man, this has been one action-packed game. Uh, this has been a, a hell of a, a hell of a 100 video. And look at all the hammerheads there. A tactic you don't see very often, but it's now it's absolutely destroyed Hydraulic. Daggy Man played a wicked game here. Uh, props to Hydraulic as well for some serious uh, switch up of tactics and some really nice work there. But it looks like Daggy Man is going to come out on top this time. Uh, deserves the win. Played played really well. So well done there to Daggy Man. And a nice game by Hydraulic there. I, I really thought his tactic was going to uh, absolutely destroy uh, Daggy Man completely. But you can see the middle field. It looks like Daggy Man has actually moved back there again. And oh, there we go. It's all over. All over. Let's just skip through the stats there. So Daggy Man coming out with a nice win there. 19 minutes, uh, 13 seconds. Look at the unit count all up and down. Obviously Black Hand like to fluctuate a lot. They get a lot of units, they lose a lot of units. Daggy Man's is more steady, more of a, a, a conventional type loss because he's GDI and he can't really <laughs> just waste his units to like, like Black Hand can. Structures are uh, hydraulic obviously with triple MCV was definitely ahead there. Uh, Daggy Man, you'd see a relatively good sell-off. That was a nice evacuation of the middle field, especially he knew he fought as long as he could and then got out of the last second and saved as much as he could. And that just delayed Hydraulic so much and that really had an impact in that game. Resources, Daggy Man, whoa, he got a ton more. I mean, he harvested off of three green fields and a blue field and he had three spikes from majority of the game. And Hydraulic, even though he really did destroy a lot, he really couldn't get his harvesters up. He just lost too many harvesters. He didn't have enough air defense. So uh, well done there, Daggy Man. You played a wicked game there, Hydraulic. You played a great game as well. It's just unfortunate that Daggy Man uh, just didn't feel like uh, dying in that game and kept fighting. Um, yeah, more air defense. Considering he had triple MCV, definitely more air defense could have helped out there. Structures created 133 structures to Hydraulic, only 41 to Daggy Man. So there you go. Structures lost 148. That was too much. <laughs> he should have done something about those walkers a lot sooner. He needed to really put up a lot more air defense than what he had. He lost 377 units to Daggy Man's 100.27 kill death ratio. That's alright for Black Hand. They tend to have that a lot. Um, Confessor favorite unit APC for Daggy Man. Surprise it wasn't Orca. 112,000 to 169,000. So there you go. Big difference. Big difference there. So Hydraulic actually uh, considering he harvested a lot less was in that game for quite a long time. It looked like he was going to win it for most of the a majority of the, the time so well done to hydraulic well done to daddy man this has been a wicked match i hope you all enjoyed this feature match for my 100th cane canes wrath fought and i hope i hope i will bring you more in the future so until then i'm green zero and i'll see you later